Okay, guys, let's try something a little bit different today. Let's uh, let's let's look at some 3D design software and, and then carry through and actually make something. And so, what I decided to try to make is this pinning tray. I think I've talked about this before. You guys have seen this, and so I used. Uh, um, uh, Autodesk's 123 design to make this thing and you can see I got the lock lab logo and some other details let's let's take a look at what some of those might be the first thing I've done is I've rounded all of the corners now I wasn't able to do that when I machined uh, the pinning tray so these are rounded and make it easy if you put some pins and small parts in there you can you can roll them out pretty easily with your finger I also did that to the so if we can get it to cooperate here. I did that on, on the trays for the, where we put the pins. They're rounded on both ends, so you can, you can, round, you can uh, slide things out of there very, very easily. Okay, after I designed this, uh, of course, then we need to actually make it. And to make it, uh, I use a piece of software called MakerWare. It comes, um, it comes with my Replicator 2X, which is a 3D printer. So this is this box represents the maximum size that we can make something and here you can see I've decided to make it in red. It's exactly the same and all it does is it takes uh, what they call slices and it turns it into a machine language uh, so we can actually print this in a 3D printer out of ABS plastic which is the same thing that uh, uh, Lego is printed out of. Pretty hard stuff, very durable. So there we go. That's what it's going to look like. There's what it's going to be on the tray. Let me take this, save it to a card, and go out and put it in the printer, and let's print this thing. All right, guys, we're out in the lab, and this is where all the magic happens. This is a uh, dual extruder 3D printer. It works just like a regular printer, except instead of printing on paper, it actually builds things to altitude. So we can build things roughly about the size of a loaf of bread. Uh, it comes in rolls, the plastic. It looks like this. It looks like for your string trimmer, your weed whacker. And it comes through, gets melted through these two extruders on the top here. We're going to be printing today, and I've only got one of them loaded up with red. So we're going to try to print this thing in uh, our pinning tray in red. So all we do, we just close up our door. We select pinning tray from the menu. I've already pre-selected it. Just hit go. And the extruder will then do everything for us. It'll heat up, melt the plastic, and start printing. So... It'll take about 10 minutes to heat up, so let me press the pause and we'll start this again. All right, five hours and 16 minutes, perhaps not the most efficient use of a piece of very expensive equipment or about $20 worth of material, but uh, there you go, one-of-a-kind pinning uh, board from the Lock Lab. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe, and for goodness sake, stay legal.